is Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SING. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I've done this analysis in the past quite a few times. So that's where the green line and red line annotations are coming from. Uh, but after today's price action, definitely some updates here need to be made. Don't mean to state the obvious, but uh, really the, the nice move started a couple of days ago when the price bottomed out and then got some upwards price action there. And then yesterday, you know, bottomed out again a little bit built that higher base and then today, you know, continued, you know, on in the upwards direction. So higher base being the key word, because from this point forward, really that's what it's all about. As long as the price keeps on building these higher bases, then the chart is gonna continue to take care of itself like it's done over the past few days. So let's map out some new levels of support. 0.063, definitely still an important level of support, but now that the price has made a move upwards, there are other areas of support that take kind of higher priority. And the ideal level of support going forward is gonna be up there at eight cents. Now, don't get me wrong, if the price falls below eight cents, I'm not saying that the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But if the price can continue to hold above there, and I use the word continue because you can see on a couple of different instances there, uh, the bears did try to press down through there, but to give credit where credit's due, the bulls did a good job of holding strong. So if they can continue to hold strong like that, that would certainly make the chart look the most powerful. Uh, but again, if it doesn't, not at the end of the world uh, because you still have 0.063 down there um, as the overall level of support. But uh, you know, if the price holds above there, again, from a, 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 a quote unquote power perspective, that would be you know right up there on the high end of that scale. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, nothing here to report from you know the previous videos I've done. 0.09 is still public enemy number one. So you can see looking back through the history of the chart, nine cents has quite a bit of history of knocking the price down right there. Still a bit of ways to go before nine cents is even tested, but just know that that is the next key level of resistance going forward. All in all though, no doubt about it, very nice price movement today, good solid increase in volume. So now uh, it really just continues to be the question, can the bulls continue to build upon uh, you know, the progress they've been making? We shall see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.